Good morning, Happy New Year, and I trust you are all doing well. Please join with me in seeing the unison prayer for illumination as it is printed in the worship bulletin PDF. Let us pray. Epiphany God, your holy word reveals your covenant love for us. We pray, reveal your promises to us in fresh new ways so we may respond to your grace. Amen. As we continue our Epiphany series entitled God Keeps His Promises, we move from God's primary and most personal promise to be with us by being one of us. Today we explore why this was so important. By taking on our human form and likeness, God and Jesus experienced what it meant to be us in every way except in our sin. This enabled him to relate to and with us as he sought to reveal God's love for us and guide us on how we are to be faithful. As we prepare to read and listen to God's word, let us be attentive, for God is speaking. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Philippians 2, verses 1 to 11, imitating Christ's humility. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than ourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 